Thank you for joining with me for the meditation for Lesson 275. God's healing voice protects all things today. Let us today attend the voice for God, which speaks an ancient lesson, no more true today than any other day. Yet has this day been chosen as the time when we will seek and hear and learn and understand. Join me in hearing, for the voice for God tells us of things we cannot understand alone, nor learn apart. It is in this that all things are protected, and in this the healing of the voice for God is found. Your healing voice protects all things today, and so I leave all things to you. I need be anxious over nothing, for your voice will tell me what to do and where to go, to whom to speak and what to say to him, what thoughts to think, what words to give the world. The safety that I bring is given me. Father, your voice protects all things through me. We will move into the silent meditation and use this lesson as the mantra or a mantra of your choice. God's healing voice protects all things today. God's healing voice protects all things today.
God's healing voice protects all things today. This lesson centers on the Holy Spirit. That ancient lesson is the atonement principle that the separation never happened. Jesus is asking us to choose today to have the Holy Spirit be our teacher rather than the ego. The choice is ours to hear his voice and his voice alone. More often than not, it will be a day in which we will shift back and forth between the two voices. Yet we want always to be aware that if we are in a state of fear, anxiety, or discomfort, it is only because of the choice we made, which can happily be changed in an instant. Jesus is telling us in this lesson, I hear the Holy Spirit's voice because there is no other. Join me in that right-minded place of refuge, and you too will hear him. True learning and understanding take place only when we unlearn the ego's belief in separation and differences. Jesus is not talking about understanding something a book says as we would a theorem in physics or rule of logic but understanding truth. If truth is oneness, understanding in this world means anything that reflects oneness. This cannot be understood alone. If I try to by excluding others, I negate the very oneness I seek to understand. True learning thus occurs only in the context of forgiveness because the only thing to be learned is the unlearning of separation and separate interests. Jesus speaks to us on the level of our bodily identification. Since we live in this world in a constant state of fear, highly vulnerable to the potential threats posed by the world around us, We desperately need the protection Jesus holds out to us here. To be told that God or the Holy Spirit is nonspecific would not be helpful in our fearful state of perceived specificity. And so Jesus presents his message to us as a reflection of the nonspecific truth we can relate to, understand, and finally accept. For your voice will tell me is addressed to us at the bottom of the ladder where we believe we exist as bodies. We think we are told to do and say specific things by a specific voice, but when we joined with the Holy Spirit's non-specific love, our specifics-oriented mind that believes it is in a specific body translated non-specific love into specific guidance and instruction. So that is uh, why Jesus addresses us at the level of our experience. As we progress up the ladder, we come to better understand the passages in A Course in Miracles that teach that words were made to separate us from God. He does not understand them and specifics root us in the world's dreams instead of help us awaken from them. And that is why Jesus speaks to us on the level of our bodily identification. Thank you so much for joining with me today. God's healing voice protects all things today. I love you. Have a beautiful day. I will see you tomorrow.